Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Alpaca Ball 2, the greatest night one of professional wrestling, the first ever anniversary show of our first ever two night event here in Hartford, Connecticut. I'm Adam. I'm the Fat Jedi. Oh, uh, we're looking forward to the greatest show ever. Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Yikes is unable to, to join us this week, and uh, hopefully he'll be back soon. But we're kicking things off. Oh, so it, it is jokers. Who's coming out to fit? I, they've got a mystery opponent. Um, not sure who it's going to be. Well, you know, Biff likes to roll things out with a little bit of surprise all the time. It's a big shoe. I mean, he does enjoy... I mean, Alpaca Bowl last year started off with, like, two of our worst tag teams ever. So, I mean, if he's doing the anniversary show, might as well roll out the worst the company has to kick things off. Oh, so we'll, we'll see him in daily yeah. finger quotes. Uh, how much you want to bet that he's going to roll out a couple of llamas at him? Oh, probably, probably. Yeah, I don't see, uh, looking over the card, who uh, that the, I mean, yeah, there's like one llama on the card for tonight. So, yeah, I can totally see the, the greedest coming out here to face them. I'm glad that the company did not spend the money on getting these guys some... Uh, entrance music. T tons of fun himself. I mean, look. I mean, Slow walking this way. He's breaking the sweat right now. He's I, I not even he off the ramp. That's not, that's not the real daily. That's a, no, that's, that's Day a wish. Lee. That's the wish version. <laughs> right. Did you order a champion online? <laughs> Make sure you get the original and genuine article. Yes. This is the, the double stuffed version. <laughs> Look at this dude. A breathing heavy. I, I think there's a, a herd of people wearing elk hats out there going boom ba ba boom ba. <laughs> Could have sworn I heard some tuba music. Yeah. All right, let's bring out their opponents. Who's it going to be, ladies and gentlemen? Time of reckoning is upon us. A judgment, a judgment will happen. What is this? The stone foundations will crumble. 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 I, the protections of the know. red house will be forever lost. Animals, animals, animals will feast upon, upon the weak. A plague will sweep upon the canvas. Only a fire will cleanse the squared ring of that which is most foul. Oh, judgment, judgment will be swift and just. That's all I'm We are many. We are everywhere. We are nowhere. We are. No way! Oh, jeez! They're back, ladies and gentlemen! The Daily Maddie Sneakers! The Originators! After taking a year off, one year later coming right back. Oh, man, those jokers in the ring are pissing their pantaloons right now. Yeah, oh, he's coming back to handle business. Seems like they've got a new attitude and everything. Eh, I like the new shirt. <laughs> Maddie Sneaker seems to have ditched the uh, 
the the sentient friggin' jacket he yeah. was wearing for a while there. Changed up the hat. Good for him. Oh yeah, no, I I don't feel bad for the uh, the fake oh. guys. Not at all. Maddie sneakers immediately just tossing people around. Showing that devastating power. The Zop Club in full form right away. Doppelgangers <laughs> tried to do a quick reverse. Trying to keep things under control, but oh. not having much. Only the daily gets a, a finally hit. Maddie Sneakers, the, oh, fake Zop Club gets broken up. Leaving Sneaks in the ring. What is Daly doing? Just standing around on the outside? Talking to the crowd. Maddie Sneakers hammers in. Daly is just keeping the barrier, waiting for the, the fake one to come back in. And there it is. Hard right hand to start things off. Well, Matty Sneakers gets reversed and tossed. Fake one's dead. Come out on top for a second. Oh, backbreaker to Matty Sneakers. Might, there might Quick be a little, little out. little rust on the, uh, on the oh, ring there. German suplex with authority. Matty. Saving the daily there. Little, little tough love there. Yeah. Russian leg sweep. And brought in the hard way. Oh. Oh. What a kick from daily there. The fake one doesn't know what he's supposed to be doing here. And he taps and right that's out. It. Oh, the beatdown continues. Oh, oh. <laughs> these sneakers giving the imposter one more shot for the road. Just locks it in. And the fake one has no idea what to do other than to just tap right out. Done like the tactical assassin that he is. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Zop Club is back. They are on a mission in the company again. <laughs> and all the heels are shaking in their boots right now, wondering Every, who their next target is going to be. Yeah, everyone in the tag team division should be put on point. They'll probably go crawling through everyone again. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for some singles action. <laughs> it's Santa. <laughs> Making his the, the, the big daddy himself comes sit on his lap and tell you what you what you want for Christmas. He'll try to deliver. He's got a big sack and it's all for you. It's Santa Claus. <laughs> All right. Santa is out here to uh, relive his rivalry with Sergeant Winter once again, trying to get his coat back. Even though he's gotten used to the bathrobe, I mean, I it mean, works for Hugh Hefner. I mean, it, 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 it works for him. It works for him. But he wants his coat back. Sergeant Winter is, uh, well, he doesn't want to give it up. Well, it's worn in by now. I don't want to give up your jacket. All right, let's get Sergeant Winter out here. And it's a warm coat. From New York, yeah, he wears it well. He doesn't want it fits over his tactical uh, body armor very well. Yeah, surprisingly well. There's a couple of holes in it of late. Yeah. 
you can patch those right up. <laughs> Striding confidently in. Santa, Santa rolling through the ring. Coming right out to him. Ah, but Sergeant Winter already planned and knew what was going on. <laughs> Sergeant Back. Winter continuing to fight off the big man. Oh! oh kisses the post. Sergeant Winter. Oh, trying to hyperextend the knee. Santa to his feet. Takes the shot like a champ. We've uh, we've got a special uh, outside the ring area now. It's uh, it's just sod. Yeah, it's just turf. Uh, I mean, on top of concrete, but it's just turf. Santa Claus calling Sergeant Winter out. Ref starts to count out Santa. Oh! oh. Stunning backbreaker. Sergeant Winter right back to his feet. Gives him one of his own. Yep. Take that coat off and hand it to the ref. Rock Santa up. Up and over. Sergeant Winter just uh, seems to have control. Well, it's that constant training and people shooting at you. God it tends to make one nimble. Santa no slouch and a powerhouse himself starts putting the boots to Sergeant Winter. Swing and a miss. Misses. Gets Sergeant Winter up. Oh, swings over. DT. Sergeant Winter goes to the outside to give Santa some words of his own. Santa's testing the ropes here. Swing and a miss again. Sergeant Winter under it. Santa rolls. Oh. Oh, oh, what a chop. Back into the corner, out, and, and Bulldog. Bulldog. Wow. Sergeant Winter is on his game tonight. He really wants to keep that coat. I mean, it's a good coat. They continue to go back and forth here, ladies and gentlemen. Santa, ooh, a little wobbly on his feet for a moment there. Miss again. Sergeant Winter has that clothesline pretty well scouted. He, well, you know, Santa may have had a little too much nutmeg before coming out. You know what I'm saying? Nutmeg in July. He's Santa. I, I, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Just doesn't strike me as a summer drink. He's Santa. Uh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Sergeant Winter sends Santa into the corner. What is he setting up here? Oh, no. Smack. Oh. Oh, Going up to the top. He's taking him all the way to the outside. Will he be successful? Up and oh, over. Oh, right onto that hard, hard turf. Thump. That's all that you could hear. Ref begins to count. And Sergeant Winter begins kicking him. Oh, powerful knee drop. Back up, sweeps the leg. Santa's back on his feet and back in the ring first. Santa trying to get the crowd on his side. Sergeant Winter tries it as well. The ref, ref taken out. It always happens in the company. Well, he was in a bad position. Santa with a quick kick. Yeah, honestly, I think Sergeant Winter used him as a shield. <laughs> Trying to make Santa look bad. Just beating, beating Santa down. Snaps the neck. Santa right back to his feet, though. To no Sergeant avail. Winter catches him. Oh. A slab of beef getting thrown against the wood. Damn it, Arthur. <laughs> I, I knew that was going to be an Arthur line in there somewhere. Especially with these two beating the crap out of each other. Sergeant Winter is just a one-man wrecking crew right yeah, now. Yeah, Sergeant Winter has just dominated this match the entire time. He refuses to slow down. 
All right, Maximus, <laughs> we're entertained. Yeah. Get it over with. Put, put the poor man out of his misery. Again, Santa quick to his feet, only be greeted with a backbreaker. Sergeant Winter over and over again. He, he had a plan, and he's definitely sticking oh. to it. Santa fights to his feet. Oh, finally. Body to body slam. Just putting the boots to Sergeant Winter here. Calling him to his feet. Sergeant Winter fighting back here, though. Oh, he powers him down. And oh, keeps him oh, down. Right to the goggles. Oh, misses that. Barely dodged out of the way. Sergeant Winter, absolute incredible strength. Drops it oh. hard. Gorilla press power bomb, just boom. Damn. That's not what he's gonna go out on though. Oh. Oh! oh. oh. Santa clobbers in. And then comes right to the outside. Winter having, oh, he catches him. <laughs> drags him back to the, uh, in, to the outside. Santa is uh, quite angry at this point. Oh, into the, into the apron the there. Apron. Santa thrown back into the ring. Sergeant Winter pulling it back in. Sergeant Winter locks him in. Oh, no. oh. 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 Pile driver. Oh. Kicks him right in the head, but Santa right back to his feet. Picks him back up. Flat Jack. Santa still spry enough to I, walk outside. He almost walked away and then decided to come back. Tries to run away a second time. He's taking as much time as he need, as he wants out there. Sergeant Winter almost takes out the ref. Santa coming back to the ring now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Santa coming back with a fit and punch of his own. But Sergeant Winter still comes out on top. Continues to pick him apart. Here we go, smack the neck again. Right to the leg. And then a leg drop. The crowd is going nuts. You would think the crowd would be upset about Santa getting his I... butt just handed to him in that gorilla press power bomb again. Another time. And another one. Just over and over again. Sergeant Winter sets up here. But reversed oh. by Santa. Oh, ho, ho. Santa clobbers him. Sergeant Winter rolls to the outside just to get away. Oh, what not far maker. enough away. Santa sent over the barricade. Sergeant Winter doesn't seem to understand how barricades work. About to get a first-hand look at one, though. Oh! oh. Right on the sod. Oh. Rev is at six. Santa rolls in. Is he going to look for the six count out win? No, he's just breaking up the count. Drops the leg. More punishment on the outside. Maybe this is where Santa finally comes back. Again, Sergeant Winter unable to figure out how to walk and get over that. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, Santa eats the stairs, like literally eats the stairs. Sergeant Winter doesn't care if he wins by count out, I see. I think that was a stay out there, be smart. You want some more? And Santa clearly wanted more punishment. Oh, another, another pile driver. Boom. Oh, the winner drags him to his feet again. But Santa, Santa with a reversal and is now taking over again. Are we going to see a Russian leg sweep at the end oh, of this? Oh, absolutely going to see a Russian leg sweep. Here there it is. it is. Setting up. Oh, my God. Russian leg sweep. Santa goes, goes for the pin. No, no, not even a one count. Santa rolls, gets behind. Oh, Santa with a reverse. So that Sergeant Winter. So what is Sergeant Winter doing? <laughs> Catching some fast hands, getting busted open. Not a smart idea to wear those goggles. They can be used against you. Like that. Oh. It's going to hurt the knuckles, though. Oh, clothesline. Another one. Ducks under and oh, quick slam. Sergeant Winter goes for the pin. Not, not even, even a one. Not we, even a one. Santa's not ready to give up yet. Not even close. Sergeant Both Winter con continues his systematic picking apart of Santa Claus. Just one appendage at a time, working his way around the body. Continuing, just not giving Santa a moment of rest. At this point, oh, it's God. almost like a martial arts kata <laughs> at this point. He's just working a process. Santa is over just... Over and over again. But here comes Santa, finally. After having everything targeted for so long. Swing and a miss again. Oh, a huge uppercut. Santa returns. Both of these two just dead on their feet. Like two heavyweight boxers in the 14th round. Here we go again. Gorilla press into, into the, the ball. Slam. How many more can, he, can Santa take? All of this over a $5.99 thrift store jacket. I know. One, two. That's a two count. Holy. Santa throws the shoulder. Absolutely. Like, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I'm flabbergasted. Santa. Santa. Fast hands. Sergeant Winter's already been busted wide open. Santa is barely standing on two good feet. Santa Claus gets Sergeant Winter up. Flapjack catches the ropes on his way down. Sergeant Winter back on his feet, though. Quick kick. Putting some space between them, but it's worked out in Santa's advantage. Santa quickly pulling him to his feet. Slips into a DDT. Takes a moment to catch his breath. Gets Sergeant Winter in a sitting position. Pushes him back down. He goes for the pin. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, that's a two count. Santa not happy about that call. No, he really, really wants that jacket, man. Hey, this one, he just really, really wants to match over. Giant royal greeting. Misses that time. Sergeant Winter grabs him. Oh, too but much. Santa's weight is too much for him. Sergeant Winter tries to roll out, but Santa's right there and collects him. Won't let him get away. DDT Another DDT. Again. Picks him up. Gets him on the shoulders. Gives him the sleigh ride. Oh. 
Santa Does goes it? in for the pin here. Puts his feet up on the ropes. Wow. One, two. Ref catches him. Ref. Oh. Santa showing how badly he wants this match over. Sergeant Winter gets Santa over, but no, oh. Santa reverses. Another leg drop. Both men pushing their bodies to the limit for a coat. Santa, Santa gets reversed, thrown over the ropes. Sergeant Winter up on the second. He's, he's, he's trying to bring him back in. Up all the way back oh. in. Oh. Damn. Sergeant Winter just. Just the upper body strength to be able to do that. Santa is not a small person. Not at all. One, two, two. Jeez. The spirit of Christmas endures. He throws a shoulder up at the last second. Sergeant Winter gets snapped over though. Santa coming back. Pumping himself up, giving the boots. Sergeant Winter unable to get anything to get out of that corner. Just literally stumping a mud hole in his butt. Finally, he gets out of the corner, but gets met with a right hand. Caught, spun around, slammed. Now Santa's got him in the other corner. Santa misses. Sergeant Winter gets him around, gets him up. Here it is again. One more. How many can Santa take? I mean, at some point, your, your back just wants to give up. Your everything wants to give up about this point. Swoops in for the pin. One, two, three. That's it. Sergeant Winter keeps the coat. Look at his face. Hi, someone get him a towel. Preferably not a white one. No. Dark red. Dark red. Black. Again, again, back and forth. These two just hammering each other. So many pile drivers. So many uh, press slams. Here is your winner. And it's still winner. flowing winter. so freely. Good thing they wore the red pants today. Exactly. Anyway. Well, congratulations, Sergeant Winter. You get to keep the thrift store Santa coat. I, I don't think that's true. Looks like it. I, well, yes. It has magical properties, though. Uh-huh. That's why it's so special. Right, welcome back. It's time for some tag team action. We haven't seen these guys since last year when they battled against against each other. Now they're going to be teaming up. The Dark Knight himself, Batman, is going to be teaming up with Superman this this year. They only show up for the big matches. It's well, like they're busy. It's like they they think that Nua is beneath them. Well, I mean, I, really? I, Wait, are you going to agree with them now? I'll, I can't I'll, believe it. I can't I'll, believe it. I'll, I'll, I'm just saying sometimes you, you do the art piece and sometimes you do the paycheck piece. You know what I mean? Well, if they're looking for the paycheck, Nua is where the paycheck's at. Show up more often. Where the art piece, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pro boner. Or, but Bono, Bono. Oh, oh Bono. Right. I, I didn't. I saw it the other way around. I'm sorry. <laughs> Batman making his way to the ring. Crowd losing their minds. I think a little fear gas got out there. Uh, 
No, it's just burrito night here at the stadium. Ah, that's the gas. Okay. <laughs> Nobody light a match, seriously. <laughs> please, please don't. No smoking in the inside of the arena. Batman just takes as much time as he possibly can. Well, yeah, it's kind of a shtick. Um, all right, fair enough. A lot of planning. Yeah. Everybody's favorite Boy Scout, it's Superman. Just... Look at that know. jaw. He always comes across to me as a little bit arrogant. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, then again, he can do pretty much anything. So. I'm saying, look at this power set. I mean, he, Never he, mind. it's not arrogance if you back it up. Yeah. He's just good. Good thing he's on our side. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> Wait, what? A few, few moments. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, it happens. It's just, you know, a little neck breaky at times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta to work on that. Yeah, you know, it's okay. I mean, Batman taught him that move. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, it's okay. Tell him that's a <laughs> it's, it's okay, you know. <laughs> we destroyed half a city and I broke your neck. You know, it, it, it happens. It's it okay. Happens. It's okay. <laughs> and their opponents tonight, a couple of old, old enemies. And it's me. Well, he's actually from South America, but, you know, it, that's kind of rude. Well, no, it turns out that, that that was the name of his cell. Ah, uh, okay. Still, I, I think we've got, like, there's a couple of rumblings from the locker room on that one going, the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, like, Dragon definitely bought the set out the green room. Doom's like, am I a joke to you? <laughs> well, that last match, maybe. Um, <laughs> oh! <laughs> Shane Tate kind of rolled on him a little bit. That is true. That is true. But Bane, after his two back to me, he does look like he's ready to break somebody's back. But uh, it turns out that Zod's Speaking perfectly of breaking fine. Breaking vertebrae. <laughs> he's perfectly fine. But yeah, multiverse. It was just it was a, a simple little uh, neck adjustment. That's all it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was of steel chiropractic. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just a, a gentle I'm trying to help him out. He just didn't like the bill, which is why he's got that look on his face. He thought it was a favor between friends and now he doesn't want to pay. I no, I totally understand. I understand. Sa same thing with Bane. He was just trying to do a little adjustment on Bruce Wayne. Things got out of hand. <laughs> Words were exchanged. Yes. But Bane and Zod taking on Batman and Superman. In the chiropractic match off of the century. I mean, it, why can't enemies and, and good guys just meet up and fight? I mean, because, why is it going to be about something? Because America is so litigious these days. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Ref calls for the bell, and away we go. Superman thrown around just by Bane. Just tossed around by Bane. I think he's been hitting the venom before coming out. Uh, do got to let you guys know the uh, Kryptonian spent the last five hours in a red sun... Uh, tanning booth, so they have been depowered. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Make the but, playing field <laughs> level. But J Bane being on the juice, that's cool, though. Yeah, All no, right, no, no, it's totally know. cool. Totally cool. Speaking of impromptu flexing, Superman just waiting for him. Batman handling Zod. Batman is just handling Zod. Trying to take him out. Oh, oh, Bane is trying to break Superman's back. But Batman's not going to have any of it. Batman almost had the ref. Well, he's always had an issue with authority. Fair enough. Justice League founders just picking the crap out of the villains. 
Absolutely. Oh, Bane, this may be a... Oh, ho, ho! Superman flying! I don't know, I'm thinking Generals. Superman didn't spend enough time in the Red Sun. Well, I mean, in, in Nua, even bears can fly, so... That's true. Speaking of flying... Again, halfway across the ring. Superman and Bane continue going back and forth. Batman and Zod having a little banter session out there before Batman continuing the punishment on Zod. Batman locking in on Zod, but they're on the outside. It's not going to make any difference. Oh, that clothesline's going to make a difference, both inside and outside the ring. Batman continuing to just work oh, Zod over. throws Zod into the barricade while Superman just continues to beat Bane silly. Bane has had enough, ladies and gentlemen. Batman He's good. locking in that submission again. Superman returns the turnbuckle sandwich and a oh. huge bulldog. Batman's got Zod in the corner. Oh, he's going to put him through. Oh, the wrought iron barricade. Oh. That is not cardboard, ladies and gentlemen. Not at all. <laughs> Superman going with the next snap against Bane. Go figure. Huh. Who Go has seen that? Go with what works, apparently. Bane got Superman in the corner. Batman continuing Sends to Sends him into the post. To get Zod into submission holds. Just humiliating him. Continues to just work that hold over on the outside. <laughs> and he actually gets Zod to tap. Not but that it matters. It doesn't mean anything. It's on the outside. Bane getting the upper hand on Superman. Goes Oops. for the pin. One. Just a one count. Batman again. Again, hanging Zod. Bane coming outside. Finally coming to Zod's, you know, Zod's aid. Oh, oh, giant clothesline. Superman on the top here. Oh, oh, oh. Zod. Superman back in the ring. Batman, uh, Batman getting treated like the way that Batman treated Zod. Zod targeted again oh. and hit again. Zod doesn't even know what's going on anymore. I don't I don't think so. Batman unable to break it up. Superman does that job for him. Batman now locking in the submission on Bane. Makes Bane wow, also tap. That out. was quick. Twist in the neck. See, that's what Batman was trying to teach him. It's just a little twist. You're not trying to rip their heads off. And Superman, you know, accidentally went too far. Superman grabs a hold of Zod in the ring, flips him over, evades Bane. Yeah, uh, not that quick, though. Batman just targets Zod right, right away. Superman and Bane... Still going at it. The heroes stand tall in the ring. <laughs> Superman, Superman takes a moment to grandstand. Oh! <laughs> and that gets, man hits him in the jimmy just for talking smack. Dude, not no. No. <laughs> they may be teammates, but they're not friends. There's a lot of respect, but <laughs> direct friends is not exactly a thing. Bane reverses Batman, goes for the slam. And... Oh, Bane is trying to break the back of the Batman. That's a two count. Zod tried to get a pin, unable to Bane goes through. for the pin. What? No. Not even a one. Oh, gigantic. The uppercut. villains are getting the upper hand here. Goes for the submission. The ref is taken down by Bane, though. 
The bad guys are turning on each other. Batman's just swinging for everybody. <laughs> he doesn't, he does not care. He's saving his buddy. I'd say there's bats in the belfry. Ha <laughs> ha! Belly to belly suplex. Takes down Zod. Oh, he's going to make him hang him in the ring. Rope break. Rope break. Goes for the pin. Rope break again. Oh! oh. Batman clobbers Bane and Superman. Batman trying to take on Zod there. Oh! Did not see Bane coming from a mile away, though. Bat Superman did, though. Gets a hold of Zod before he can do more damage to Batman. Gets him up and slams him. Gets Bane as well. Trying to keep him on the backs. Batman takes a quick breather. Locks oh. in. What? Claw slams him. That's ridiculous. Grabs him again. Superman with a DDT on Bane, though. Villain's in a very bad way right now. A third claw slam? Making this point. Goes in for the pin on Zod. The rest is slow to get over one, up well. two, three. That's it. Batman puts away Zod after palming his face like a basketball and smashing it like a cantaloupe. I, three times in a row. In a row. And after Zod gets put through the barricade and General treated like a friggin' punching bag the entire match. Oh, absolutely. Batman finally puts him away. I, I honestly feel that uh, his tanning bed was turned up too high. Uh, because well, Superman it, was was way more powerful. Maybe Zod's just a Kryptonian biatch. I don't know. Oh. I mean, oh. And it is Batman. And That's true. I mean, Batman would turn up the intensity a little bit more and just be like, you're going to be a little weaker this time. Yeah, we're just going to make sure. Batman cheats. Superman is the ultimate Boy Scout, but Batman cheats. Oh, absolutely. That's a superpower. No. Um, Big Ham! That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Shane Payne coming out, taking on Mr. Green for the Big Ham Championship. After picking apart Doom, yes. coming back from just an absolute onslaught at the beginning of the match to knock Doom out. Absolutely, absolutely. I, uh... But Mr. Green, though, that dude has been able to just... Take the punishment and dole it out. He is next level. And now, with the OGs of Zop Club coming back, it is the dawning of a new era. It certainly is. Mr. Green already has the big hand bell. Brock Holiday has been making waves. and Zero has been on special assignment. We have not seen him for a while. Haven't seen him for a bit. Uh, we're hoping to have him back soon, but... Uh... You know, still, you never know what surprises with members of Zoc Club or MIA. You never know what's going on. They could be on, uh, you know, Zoc Club. Speaking four, of Zoc Club, four, four, the big ham champion himself, Mr. Green. He knows how to make an entrance. Absolutely. Calm and steady, ready for the brawl. 
no need to come out with the traditional backstab or chair or nutcracker. Nope. He's coming straight out. He's he's just here for a fight. Plus, you know, stretch the match out a little bit longer by giving yourself a, a full entrance. You gotta hype the crowd. Oh, Shane though, he's ready to take him on. Mr. Green though, immediately <laughs> first offense. Reverse by Shane. Shane misses with the clothesline. Or was he swinging at the ref? Able to block back and forth. These two Titans go. Shane locks him in. Oh, oh, elbow right to the forehead. And then right to the boots. Oh, ow. Hard okay. slam. Picks him right up again. Another slam. Tossing Mr. Green around like a sack of potatoes. And the fans don't like it. Mr. Green catches the leg. Drops the elbow right on that knee. Chad able Shane? to get his way out. That's Shane, not Shane. Shane. There's too many pates. There's big pate. I, I know. He's big pate. Big pate. Sends Mr. Green all the way to the outside. Oh. Oh. Not nice. Uh, no, not nice. Rude. Mr. Green locked in. Oh, oh, slammed hard on the saw. Right onto the turf. Shane continues working over the body. These matches go to a knockout, but... You know, you can get people to get knocked out in different ways. All right. Mr. Speaking Green picks up the which, belt. Mr. Green. He's got the championship, he's and he's not afraid to use it. Shane in. And Shane's taking his time. Dancing back and forth. Shane goes looking underneath the ring. Mr. Green just watching and telling him to bring whatever he finds. Which is apparently nothing. Oh! Tricks Mr. Green into thinking he was going to go under the ring on that corner. Instead, he comes back in. Russian leg sweep from the champion. Fast hands from the champ. Mr. Green just taking his time. Lightning. After having possibly underestimated Shane at the beginning of the match. Oh, slams the hand right into the belt. Starts working Shane over. Not giving Shane any space to work. It's a catch a breath. Corner. Oh, quick move. Eats turnbuckle. Mr. Green still in control, or is he? Catches him. Sweeps the leg. Shane right back up to his Very feet. Very fast to his feet. Oh! We saw how devastating that was against Doom. Shane just demonstrating that immense power in the upper body. And Mr. Green dumped to the outside. Shane just talking to the crowd, running what around. Is, what is he doing in the ring right now? He's picked up the belt. Taunting Mr. Green by having it. Mr. Green instead just goes underneath the ring. Shane quicks to the outside. Oh! Drives the belt right into Mr. Green's back. Oh, oh! Right across the forehead. Mr. Green reverses. Puts his back up with Shane, but Shane comes right back. Will we be seeing a new champion tonight? Mr. Green. Not looking sent good. towards the corner. It's the return of the OGs, and will Mr. Green be able to retain his championship? Quick kidney check. Bro bump. Oh, Mr. Green trips it on the stairs. How what? 
It's sent, sent into, into the, the corner. corner. Oh, Shane, no. Big paint. I mean, these are, the pain. These are easier to set back up. That is true, but they are much harder on impact. We went with easier to set up. Safety be damned. A little girl in the front row almost got taken out by the barricade. They know where they were sitting when they got the tickets. That's true. Mr. Green heading back into the ring. Shane, Shane looking back under the apron. Looking underneath the ring, trying to find something. Mr. Green on the other side, searching as well. And we got a ladder. Shane but not Mr. really Green. sure what to do with it. Mr. Green with the bat, he is very aware of what to do with it. Shane just carrying that ladder around like he's at Home Depot. Jack trying Go. to attack the ref. Did he just try? Okay. I was like, is he going to set the set that up? And he goes back under. Mr. Green has had enough shenanigans. Yeah, he's... he's <laughs> oh, and Shane reverses oh. in a clothesline, sends the champ to the ground, twist in the neck. But Mr. Green works his way out. Oh, large knee. Bro bump after bro bump. And another clothesline from Shane. Mr. Green doesn't necessarily look like he's outmatched, but it doesn't look like he's got much left in the tank. But when he won the championship in the first place, it looked like he was about to lose. That's, that is true. Never count him out. The game's not over until he's not conscious. That's true. That's true. Shane continuing to dominate, though. Oh, oh but Mr. Green, Green with, with a the quick dodge. Move. Shane throws Mr. Green at the ref. <laughs> yeah, use everything available, I guess. Shane sent over the barricade. Mr. Mr. Green enjoys it. First time we've gone outside oh, the barricade. Oh, and sent right back over the barricade. <laughs> Big old haymaker. Shane leaves, heads to the... Oh, we've got an entire section back here. This is where most of the stuff is. Wait, you didn't know the crowd threw most of that stuff in? I did not. Shane steals this kendo stick. Oh, right across the midsection. Oh, oh, right across the face. Using that kendo stick to all the advantage. Shane throws him. Oh, throws into the barricade. Through a trash can. Oh. Oh, thrown into, into that table. Mr. Green grabs the... Oh, they fight over trash it. Trash can, which is immediately stripped by Big Pate there. Back and forth they go on the outside. That is actually just concrete. Oh. It's not solid. There's no padding back there. Into the other barricade. Oh, oh. Shane lights the table on fire. Oh, Mr. Green. Clothesline from behind. Catches him. Shane reverses, kicks him in the gut, and... Oh, off oh, the table. Onto the burning table. Mr. Green drops him hard. He grabs the trash can. Misses. They fight over it again. Green with a quick roll. Reverse DDT. And Shane still has the fight left in him. Oh, oh Mr. Green busted opened up. Busted wide open here. Shane with the baseball bat is a little disoriented. Takes a couple of practice swings. Oh. Takes down Straight Mr. Green. Up drilled. Drilled again into the barricade. How much more could Mr. Green take? I don't I don't know. He's he's not in a good spot right now. He doesn't look like he could win at all here. 
Shane, Shane up. Gets a hold of him. Hits oh, it hard. That, that's not Still it. Still conscious. Mr. Green has... He's got incredible fortitude. Oh, spinning elbow. Shane gets back up, gets locked in. Oh, he's going for the pile driver. Hits it. Oh, that's it. That's, that's it. That's it. Mr. Green keeps the big hand belt. Retains the championship. And it just, he, he was getting beat up the entire match. Just, that's just the indomitable will that he has. The absolute endurance. Took the match to the outside. Able to survive a choke slam onto on concrete. Uh, you saw his head bounce. And then able to pull off this pile driver. Shane not able to retain consciousness. I no. mean, how dare he? Absolutely Holy knocked out. Crap. Congratulations, Mr. Green. Bloody well deserved, literally. The return of the OGs, the retaining of a championship. I We're looking at the rise of Zot Club. Brock Holiday has a match tonight. All right, welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for a fatal four-way number one contenders match for the New England Wrestling Alliance Championship. Out comes former champion, The Reaper. All former champions in this match. Oh, this is gonna be one heck of a slobber knocker. It certainly is. And for The Reaper to come out first, that tells you the type of absolute power and skill that's gonna be brought out here. Yes, the competition will be absolutely amazing. I mean, the Reaper's the first person coming out. You know that the rest of the competitors are going to be top notch. <laughs> As always, the ring has not been rigged for Pyro beforehand. We don't ask questions, we just assume everybody signed their waivers. Exactly. Who's coming out next? Oh, it's the, wait. <laughs> Top notch competitors, indeed. Former champions. Well, uh, you know, that is true. It is, that is true. It is the Llama. After their, after his banishment, he finally found a way back. Oh, this goofy bugger. But he has actually beaten the Reaper many times in the past. That That is true. That is very true. And he did help hold the belt for a fairly long time. Exactly. Exactly. Absolute surprise champion. Everyone hates him. Everyone. Just when you thought the crowd mood couldn't get any lower after the Reaper came out. And it's coming out your favorite uncle. Okay, seriously, he's he's taking his time again. Oh, there he is, Uncle Freddy. He's, he's got to find his way through the smoke cloud. That's just coming off his shirt. Yes. Well, here we are in Hartford, Connecticut, where I don't remember if it's legal or not. It, he doesn't care. Nobody cares. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, most of the local authorities, as long as we keep it within the arena, they're more terrified of our wrestlers than they are anybody else. We keep it self-contained. <laughs> That's absolutely true. We do have a few uh, competitors here that are otherworldly. And... Uh, some of them are actually beer vendors in between matches. I just saw Leviathan walk by selling pretzels. He's a champion, though. You gotta he make that money. Don't judge his side hustle. All right, all right. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. No. And coming out, finally, 
Vaughn. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. anybody's match now, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a fatal four-way, so who knows what's going to happen here. Pandemonium from Pandora on his way out, hyping the Hyperion Red Bands. Living that bandit life. He is... He is something else. I am still surprised that he has been as victorious in this company as he has been. Well, again, this match is going to be slightly handicapped by the fact that he won't be accessing the loot stash under the apron. That's true. That's true. But the numbers game kind of works in his favor. And the and the llama's favor, too. So, so we've got two brawlers and two slippery suckers. Okay. I just... Just call for the bell, ref. And away we go. Immediately royal greeting from, from the Reaper. The underpants war commences in the corner. Vaughn coming out on top. Right. Freddy going right back after the Reaper. But the Reaper is just prepared for him. Ooh! Uncle Freddy finally getting some offense off here. The Llama just getting beaten to a pulp by Vaughn, who's been complete control. Reaper finally rolls out of the ring, leaving three of them left in there. Llama sent over the ropes, brought back in. Uncle Freddy immediately just kicks him right in the face. And then locks in a submission here. Vaughn just hanging out watching the ref. Goes after the llama. Reaper grabs a hold of <laughs> Uncle Freddy, drags him right out of the ring. Vaughn left the only person. No, nope, Vaughn up and over flops right onto the llama. Oh. Reaper and Uncle Freddy, they lock up, but Uncle Freddy finally breaks free. The underpants war is still going on on the outside here. Oh, oh my. my. I think Uncle Freddy tried to actually save Vaughn there no. for us. No, no, All no. All right, no, just he took didn't. everybody out. As, he, yep, he, yep, there's a big saw draw me. He went for his, he, he took the shot. Reaper took going the shot. for a weapon. Vaughn running away. Reaper continuing to chase him. Yeah, Vaughn right out of there. Uncle Freddy continuing to work over the, oh! the llama, but the Reaper meets him. The llama takes away the kendo stick and just starts working the Reaper over. Uncle Freddy switches up and takes on the llama. Reaper Vaughn. on his way outside. Vaughn content to stay inside the ring. Up and over. Catches oh. the Reaper. Oh, my God. I did not expect him to fly that high. Crowd is into it right now. Vaughn, the underpants war is back on. Oh, fast hands by Vaughn. Reaper back to his feet. Back under the apron. Llama sent flying over the ropes. Uncle Freddy into the ring with Vaughn. They connect. Vaughn just taking him on right here, but Uncle Freddy coming right back. Reaper beating the Llama with a baseball bat. Vaughn reverses Uncle Freddy. Hip toss from Uncle Freddy. Llama Reaper. sent into the barricade by the Reaper. Uncle Freddy off the top, totally ah, misses. Completely misses everything. Vaughn continues to talk smack from outside and inside the ring up to, the top, up to the top rope. Goes oh, after the llama, misses. Llama and Uncle Freddy lock up. Vaughn misses the llama again. Locks in, drops him on the sod. Uncle Freddy off the top. Goes for it, but misses the Reaper. Just didn't have the energy. Reaper pulling a uh, curly outside, just wait. running in circles. Sends Uncle Freddy into the barricade. Gets him up and sends him into it oh. again. Vaughn off the top. Connects. He, he connects. 
spinning corkscrew. I don't know what you'd call that, but nails the Reaper while he was setting something up and back into the ring. Llama after him. Vaughn not taking any time. Uncle Freddy reversed. Vaughn is absolutely in control right now. Well, right up into that moment. <laughs> Uncle Freddy goes silverback gorilla. Reaper taking it to the llama with a table. Vaughn just putting a, putting a beating on Uncle Freddy. Takes him out and over the top rope. Reversed by Uncle Freddy. Reverse from Vaughn. Reaper thrown back into the ring. Oh, Vaughn slams Uncle Freddy hard. Dragon suplex. Sends the Reaper right to the outside, though. Lala throwing fists. Reaper retaliates. Gets him up. And powerbomb on the side into a pin, but it doesn't matter. It's on the outside. Spins it over into a submission. Uh, Vaughn missed. They're standing still, and Vaughn missed. Well... Uncle Freddy off the top turnbuckle. Hits Drops the llama. llama. But Vaughn is right there to pick up the pieces. Reaper taking it to the llama with the kendo stick. A couple more shots. Vaughn over the top oh. hits the Reaper again. I think he connected with pretty much everyone out there. That's ridiculous. Using bodies as your landing pads? Well, you know, you, you work with what you got. No, yeah, that's true. Uncle Freddy off the top turnbuckle again. Re oh! Reaver gets hit with a shot that was intended for the llama. He rolled right out of the way. Llama gets him Vaughn up into a pile driver. Hits just about everybody, including himself. Reaper's first back to his feet. Got sent into the corner post. Uncle Freddy catches and the llama and, and then he's just, just... He's broken. He, 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 he broke. He broke for a second. Yep, he's broken. Stretch Armstrong got <laughs> nothing on Uncle Freddy. Uncle Freddy's back in the ring. He materializes. And busted <laughs> open by Vaughn. Llama backs oh. Vaughn into the corner. Setting him... Up, hanging him from the tree of well. What is he setting up here? Giving him a stinky, stinky boot. Moves on to Uncle Freddy. Reaper closing in on Vaughn with the table. Hits him. Hits him again. Vaughn just getting absolutely de decimated on the outside right now. Vaughn gets out of the way, manages to get back in the ring. Curb stop from Uncle Freddy to the llama. Goes in for the pin, broken up by Vaughn. Reaper setting up Vaughn the table. Vaughn goes in for the pin, one. Just That's a one. one. Reaper off the top turnbuckle. Oh! oh lands full no impact way. on the llama's chest. Vaughn oh. smashes the llama. Vaughn comes right in afterwards. Reaver grabs up Vaughn, drops him once. Oh no, 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 drops him right, right onto the, the llama. Llama finally stirring to motion. Yep, yep, that stain has gotten bigger. Yes, it certainly has. <laughs> the llama is somehow fighting back. And then talks smacks Uncle Freddy. Paying for it. Go, Freddy goes for the pit and the Reaper turns around. Just a two count. Reaper Reaper's scythe. scythe. Uncle Freddy goes in for the pin. Breaks it up. Goes after the Reaper. Gives him a flapjack. Goes back to the llama. Reaper rolls out. One. Vaughn on his feet. Two. Three. That is it for the llama.
We Reaper continue on. Getting worked over from both sides. Gets put in front of submission. Vaughn gets in and breaks up the hold or something. Something. Reaper gets free. Reaper throws Vaughn out of his way. He wants Uncle Freddy here. Oh. Vaughn with the slick move that gets caught up on Uncle Freddy with the neck breaker. Turns on the Reaper, gets him back to his feet. Rising knee! Uncle Freddy is showing off here. Vaughn gives him a little chin music. Sent off the ropes. Uncle Freddy misses Miss with the body shot. Referee in danger, close contact with the contestants. He ought to know better. Oh, Death Valley driver. Vaughn goes in for the pin here. No, not even a one. Not even a one. Vaughn wraps up the Reaper, slides him over and tosses him. He rolls out of the ring. Vaughn continues working over Uncle Freddy. Softening him up. Uncle Freddy continuing to bleed everywhere. Oh, reverse by Uncle Freddy. Uncle Freddy with the kick and a big curb slump. Vaughn is busted wide. Go for the pin. Uh, Go for the pin, kid. Uncle Freddy just trying to catch his breath. Reaper is still trying to work his way to his feet outside the ring. Uncle Freddy spins him out. Another rising knee. Oh. Goes for the pin here. Vaughn barely twitching. One, two, three. That's three. Vaughn is out. Reaper with the chair. Oh! Solid connect to Uncle Freddy. But he takes the chair away. Look at the absolute huevos on this guy. 1v1. Winner becomes the number one contender to the New England Wrestling Alliance Championship. Reaper putting the boots of Freddy. Freddy squirrels out. Death Valley driver. Will he be setting up? Oh! Drives him right to the ground with that chair. Uncle Freddy back to his feet. Reaper sweeps through. Neck breaker. Gets him back up. Dance for just a second. Reaper catches his leg, spins him around. Freddy up and dropped on down. Oh, he's going for the three. He is. And the third one. Dang. Freddy able to immediately roll out. Unbelievable tenacity I, on Uncle Freddy. Able to take all that damage and then roll right away. I, oh. But then makes bad decisions gonna, like that. Gonna have trouble getting in that way. Quick oh. roll shot to the gut. Uncle Freddy right back to his feet again. Unable to lift the Reaper. Reaper puts him off the table. The table. Reaper sent into the table. Off the post this time. Back and forth these two go. Reaper grabs him to his feet. Plants him face first into the sod. Uncle Freddy still having just enough to fight back. Rolls the Reaper back into the ring. He sets. Locks it in. Rising knee. See that one more time. That rung the Reaper's bell. Something fierce. Right up under the jaw. Uncle Freddy goes for the pin here. One, two, three. That is it. Uncle Freddy, your number one contender. He will be taking on the winner of tomorrow night's main event 
for the New England Wrestling Alliance Championship. Well, Recto Reeves will be defending that belt. Uncle Freddy looking to see if he can maybe maintain a belt for longer than a week. I, yeah. Three time or, champion, yeah. shortest reigns Here's your winner, ever. Flyboy. But proving he's got what it takes to get it again and again. Yeah. The ultimate underdog. He shouldn't be able to stand toe to toe with someone like the Reaper. It's all the anime training he goes through. That's true. That's true. Or the Sativa. I'm not sure which. Could be both. Could be. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for some singles action. We have this Shit match. Kid. Four, 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 four. Yeah, coming forgot. back out again. It's the fourth member, Brock. He is looking for to continue the winning ways of Zop Club tonight. The Daily and Matty Sneakers come back and dominate in their tag team match. Mr. Green retains his championship. And if Brock Holiday wins tonight, he will be added into the uh, main event tomorrow night uh, and he will be taking on both Grimalik and Recto Reeves in a triple threat match for the New England Wrestling Alliance Championship but he has to beat Grimalik one on one tonight this match means everything to him and you know Grimalik does not want to see him in the ring not at all Grimalik wants to go one on one anyway. one and done is kind of how Grimalik rolls once they're dropped in the kitty litter, you don't deal with them anymore. Exactly. But Zob Club has, has the luck tonight. So, who knows? And here he is. The big gal himself, Grimalek, the Russian bear. One half of the Brooklyn Bratva. We haven't seen DJ for a little bit. We but, have not. Uh, Rocky Times was in the Broadway, apparently. Yeah. Um, I thought he would be coming out, you know, to back up his tag team partner. Sport. But I didn't even see him backstage. Kind of well, weird. Uncle Freddy's got such a haze back there, it's hard to maneuver around. You never know. He may That's be true. somewhere back there. Or he's in the parking lot. Again, what he does on his off time, however, you know. Yeah. If he wants to valet, that's fine. Uh, no, no, no. He's part of the uh, uh, the pregame parties. Oh, fair enough. Hey, somebody's got to run the Beirut tables. Exactly. Here. All right, one-on-one -on -one action. Here we go. Rock Rock with a quick move right to start. Tries to work the arm, but <laughs> Grimlick is not having it. Back and forth, these two fighting for supremacy. Sizing each other up. Brock getting a quick kick. Finally gets some strikes going on. Grimlick responds. Oh, oh, big dunk to the back of the dome. He definitely responded there. Brock Holiday, not looking like uh, he's now in a just good position. Literally right now. kicking his butt. Oh, royal greeting like the best. But Brock swings him out, puts him up over the top rope, brings him right back in hard. Drops that knee. Oh, but Grimlick brings him right up and over. Back body drop. Oh. Rise to a little land an bit of a miss there. You gotta judge the distance a little bit. Yeah. Brock to his feet only to catch that big right paw. Brock Holiday sent into the corner. Grimlick rolls him out. Oh, he's looking to drop Rolling the up. hammer. Boom. 
Now what what is he setting up this time? Oh, just another straight just, right hand. Just didn't want to go up to the second rope that time. Grimley continuing to dominate Brock Holiday. Brock finally gets out. Gets him up on the shoulders and gives him a flapjack. I think Brock, Brock's turned, it, turned on that second gear. Grimlick had to separate. Oh! Brock oh! Up and over but misses entirely. He lands quite hard on the side on the outside. Grimlick sends him towards the corner. Sends him up. Brock, Brock sends him up over up the back and over. Brock, Brock joins him, but Grimlick tries to get back past him. Six. Brock hops again. Get back in the ring. Oh, giant clothesline. Oh. Cross Sets smart out move. Like, ain't nothing. Smart move gets oh. a hold. I got out. Grimlick just barely coming back to his senses. Brock strung up in the corner. Grimlick gets him up and gives him the snake eyes. Brock catches him, hip tosses Grimlick. Wow, the power involved in that. Grimlick, not a small man. No, not at all. Another huge clothesline, and Brock just posing in the corner. He's learned well from Matty Sneakers. <laughs> well, everybody has to have their heroes. Oh, oh, lightning strikes from Brock. Talks up the crowd. Gives a clothesline. Another clothesline. And a drop kick. Puts the boots of Grimlick. Grimlick, uh, I don't know. Not looking that good. No. First, it seemed like he had this. Grimlick back hand, to his but, foot. Oh, oh. scoops right up. Yeah, it seemed that Grimlick had it in hand early on. Brock pouring on that traditional Zop Club last minute. Can of whoop ass. Continues to work Grimlick over, but Grimlick with the reverse here. Brock fights back immediately. Grimlick backs off. Brock misses. But he does get in close to, for these strikes. Oh, liver shot after liver shot. Oh. Off the rope. Oh! Brock just getting smacked. Absolutely laid out by that. Oh, busted open. Brock continues to just now lay there. He had found the moment. Is it coming back, though? Able to deflect. Clothesline drives Grimlick to the ground. And the crowd is losing their shit. <laughs> More than a llama. <laughs> we have bathrooms for a reason, people. Grimlick, Grimlick right back to his roll. feet. Rolls through. Reverse DDT. Brock Holiday back to his feet, but laid out. Grimlick drags him back up. Quick Locks kick, in. here it is. Drops him, he's gonna drop him. Right to the kitty litter. Brock Holiday is bleeding profusely oh. and has now just been dropped on his head. Let's see his noggin bounce. Grimlick oh. continues to punish him. Kick to the Jimmy, but Brock up over the knee. The speed with which these two Grimlick to grabs feet. him. But it's reversed oh. by Brock. Can Brock pull out a victory here? Get himself a shot at the new championship. Oh! oh. 
the sound of that slap. Oh my god. Remember, like, locks him in, takes him over. And a nut. And, oh. I can't tell if Brock Holiday is running out of gas right now. I mean, can you blame him? He's probably woozy from the blood loss alone. I would not blame him for that. Grimlick hangs him, him from the tree. Oh, that's not going to be helpful regarding the cut on his head. Where Where is he oh, going? Oh, man. We all know what this means. Get out your wings and buckle in because bears do fly. Will he make it? Intercontinental Bear up and all the way over. Brock Holiday semi conscious. Grimlock goes for the pin. One, two, three. That is it. Grimlock eliminating a threat on his march for that belt. Absolutely. I mean, but Brock Holiday, yeah, give it a little bit. He's 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 got the form to be in the main event. No, absolutely triumphant match against the, like no shame to him. Nobody's stepping up after catching a face full of bear from that far away. That's right. Oh, God damn it, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Here is anyway, your winner, Kitty. the man who loves all the kitties. The Russian bear himself. The big now on his march for the championship belt. Tomorrow night in the main event against Recto Reeves. One on one for the championship. We'll see you guys. Oh, wait, no. That, that'll be tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow yeah, night. Go see that. Still have another match. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event. That's right, the Double B Ranchers just last week beating Phantasm to put themselves here at the main event of Alpaca Bowl Night 1. Sorry, I meant Alpaca Bowl 2 Night 1. Yeah, it's about time I've been waiting too. I mean, it only happens once a year, so... Yeah, no kidding. That's... What are you talking Anyway, the Double B Ranchers, they're going to be taking on the deep for the Tag Team Championships. At well, least two definitely have their work cut out for them, but after that match with Phantasm, we got a taste of everything they can throw at the table. Oh, absolutely. Say. All these boys, always so dramatic. That's some epic music, bro. Well, they picked it out themselves. I mean, I guess they got a decent job at picking out some epic music for themselves. Oh, well, apparently. Stomping their way out, all business, wearing that gold. How tiny those belts look on those two. I, I know. Leviathan and Jacob, once bitter adversaries, they've teamed up and have been dominating the tag team division ever since. Ranchers giving them a wide berth outside the ring. Getting a stare down from each of the deep. Everybody in this high capacity crowd on their feet. Main event time. Time for, time for the team's introductions. The Coleman, Bill, on the way to the ring. Uh, okay, she got At Bill right. I mean, pounds, again, she's just Outlaw, all over Coleman, the place. And Bill, it's, the iconic. 
Becker and Bill. Okay, whatever. Listen, considering the way she could have mispronounced Coleman. Becker. Bill and their opponents at a combined weight of 724 pounds. They are so a difference of almost 300 pounds the between these two Jacob teams. Yes. And H. Lovecraft P. The lead. Ref's taking his life the, in his hands and the ref just politely requests the belt. Gentlemen. <laughs> Please don't stab me. This is just my job. I'm sure I'll be giving this back to you in like 30 seconds. Yes. The deep taking on the Double B Ranchers, and away we go. And spears all around. Bill Leviathan going right after Bill immediately. Becker Back. getting behind Leviathan, but Leviathan's power Both just comes through. Good. Bill picks up Jacob. Booty what bumps did? him to the ground. He's been training with Arthur, apparently. I oh, and the teabag! He absolutely just no, teabagged him. He teabagged him. Wow. Wow. Arthur, the training you've got these guys on. I'm just saying, man. But this week, they don't seem to have the mysterious numbers advantage. Well, it's hard to separate mountain peaks. And they're That's true. Dealing with two very angry mountains right now. Oh, but there we go. Teaming up well. Trading dance parties. Dosi -si do back and forth. Keeping everyone off their game. Did Jacob. the crowd just turn on them? What happened? Yeah. Oh. Oh. An attempted roll up there. Rope rope. Puts him up. Oh, right off the knee. The Double B Ranchers actually have it under control now. Wow. Leviathan being tossed around like a rag doll. Becker sends Leviathan into the corner. Gives him snake eyes. <laughs> Bill is just taking a battle to just absolutely punch the crap out of him. Becker oh. goes for the pin. Nope. Nope. We're, we're doing submit. the Leviathan submission. Who's doing what? Gets out of the way. Ref in danger, close proximity. Jacob just Jacob. hammers. Oh. Ranchers the finding themselves in a bad way all of a sudden. Quick change, but things change on a dime here in Nua. Just like that, the ranchers are back in control. Leviathan's outside the ring. Trying to grab a hold of Bill there. Back ah. up over total. How do you miss How do you do that thing? But I guess it sometimes is possible. Bill left in the ring with both guys, but he slips out of there. Well, Becker slips in the back door. Arthur. Wow. Seriously. Wow. That was too far. That was too far. That's what he said. The ranchers continue to pound the crap out of the deep. The ranchers doing it cowboy style on them. Stunner from Bill. Becker just takes down Leviathan. Two, two, three. Wow. 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 Out of nowhere. Jacob Penn just did. Becker was going after Leviathan for the early pin. There were a number of quick pin attempts in this, in this match. Again, Bill targeting Jacob most of this match. Back and forth, Just clearly contested the entire time. But unbelievably... I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm stunned. I, I'm actually a little bit stunned. We have new tag team champions. 
absolutely be considered an upset underdog victory. Congratulations, Double B Ranchers. The deep just disappeared. They can't even, they're so disgusted, they just left. I, I, I mean, I don't blame them. If, if you just got beat that suddenly, yeah, wow. No. Wow, I am just, I am I, stunned. Congratulations, Double B Ranchers. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you so much for checking out this episode of Alpaca Bowl 2, night one. Tomorrow night is night two, and we'll see you there. In the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and join that notification squad.